And I had the name on Instagram, New York City. That was like my first name on the app. You had New York, I had New York City, City on, on Instagram? Yeah, on Instagram. And then I changed it to Toronto. And at that time, I was living in Kitchener. Like I was going to University of Waterloo or whatever I was doing. It just, I didn't make sense. I was not associated to had the city. Had you known I know. how much that handle probably maybe, is maybe worth work now? Harder. It made me work harder though. <laughs> Yes. Oh my God, yeah. Another podcast episode with yes. the legend, the most mysterious man on YouTube. <laughs> I'm like that guy Alan from Polander. the beer commercials <laughs> but for photography. <laughs> Seriously, you are, how I would describe you is you are nowhere and everywhere all at once. All at once. I, we, I never see you while I'm in Canada. And then I'm in like Montreal or Milan. And there you are. You show up out of nowhere. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yo, you got to keep a sense of mystery. That's all I know. In life, the mystery helps you, definitely. It's not just like, I, I don't even know what you do half the time. No I don't one. know what, like, what you're, I don't, most people I know like, oh, that's their business. I don't even know what your full, your full <laughs> business is. Like, this I, is not I, a good sign of our friendship, okay? No, I, I, this is part of your mystery. Like, like, you do so many things, but I don't even know, like, are you on Instagram? You have like, mm. what, 700,000 something followers? Is that how much? Is that, am, am I, I making that I number I think up? a little bit more than that. Yeah. A little bit. Uh, one million followers. <laughs> I hope. Less soon, than that. Soon, soon. <laughs> Less than that. Uh, you got a YouTube following. What else are you doing? You're, you're doing modeling. TikToker. You're, you're at every single Formula One race. Yeah, there's a lot going on for sure. Uh, okay, so explain to me what happened what how did you how did you become this mystery man <laughs> honestly I, I think i watched or played too much 007 you know what i'm talking about like golden eye yeah. i played that too much growing up and it somehow became my lifestyle um no i i think it was just a, a stylistic choice i mm. always was really oh so is this an actual like yeah yeah, yeah you actually it's strategic okay. it's very strategic oh, so this, this took a turn. making an appearance at places that maybe people didn't expect me to be i will mm. be there and then like showing images and content of certain things that maybe no one thought were possible like that's always like my that's my why you're at the red bull fluke tag fluke flu flu tag, flu tag. Yeah, yeah no one would expect me <laughs> yeah, like, that action sports and now, although you did go snowboarding with me and you yeah, did pretty good you did is. pretty well i'm getting so much better by the way yeah. i bought my first board you'd be so you proud did? yeah i did what you've been going more <laughs> i've been going me I mean, this winter is going to be the second year I go. So last year I practiced so I can get to your level because Maddie is like a really good snowboarder, if you guys don't like know Like an this. average noob. No, no, no. You're very good. <laughs> and we went on our trip together to Whistler. And this yeah. guy just like, I, I had never been like snowboarding on a mountain like that before. And this guy's just like. Well, that's like the big, the, the problem was that like there was a, a range of people in skill. Yeah. I would say you were on the, the beginner side. Oh, boy, beginner, yeah. And I was probably somewhere in the middle. But then there were like pro Pros. guides and instructors, <laughs> people, and they just put me in that group. And so I'm riding on a rental board with pros trying to keep up with these guys. And I'm like, I don't, I don't think I, don't I belong in this <laughs> But it was fun. But that was a fun trip. Very fun. That was really interesting. Actually, that was one of the one of the experiences that I had that I found like it was like it was not even like you needed to do anything. It was like yeah. no brand like requirements. Yeah. We just went, hung oh out, went gosh. snowboarding, ate good food. And then the cool thing was everyone came with a different skill set. So yeah. like someone was giving us yoga lessons in the morning and someone was giving us like meditation. Someone and was giving us massages. Exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got massages. Oh, my God. I forgot about that. Yeah, we watched like documentaries from, um, what's it? What, I forget what his name was, but David Suzuki's oh, grandson. Grand, yeah, 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 nephew. Yeah, yeah. Nephew. Yeah, nephew, yeah, something. Grandson, grandson nephew, Something yeah. like that. Yeah, this guy guys like the next yes. david suzuki and times he was 12 insanely good at snowboarding living out yeah. of a converted ambulance turned into a like a tiny home slash it ran off biodiesel you have like very bio good memory bio. by the way <laughs> no i found him so fa i was like i gotta make a documentary yeah. on this guy he's yeah. so interesting that was actually one of like when i think back that was one of the most fun trips that's the only trip that you and me have done together, together. like yeah, that together. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, oh, you want to go on this thing? It was for Cliff Bar. Cliff Bar, yeah. And that's like, I, I find a lot of brands don't understand that if if they just say no no deliverables, we're just going to give you guys a great time hanging out with fun people. Like the you, gratitude I have towards Cliff Bar now, I would too. never say anything bad about never. Cliff Bar. Like a cool product also. Yeah. But like now my my picture of them is so good. 
and I made videos and we took photos and we yeah. did all that and they didn't ask for anything. Whenever you see a cliff bar at the grocery store, you're like, yeah, that's yeah, I'm just going to buy one to support them. <laughs> They're cool. <laughs> no, it was, it was one of those trips that like really got me like realizing how cool it is also what we get to do for a living. Oh, yeah. that's, I think that's a huge part of it. A hundred percent. How did you, you are, you're like OG Instagram, right? OG. OG. <laughs> how did you get, I actually don't, you've probably told me before, but I don't remember. How did you get your first like, rise in on instagram um so it was like very very early on instagram was like new it was like um it was just an application that people were just taking pictures and editing it just wasn't photos, really like nothing yeah. else and then they added this whole like oh you can share it and then have this community based thing um and i got onto the platform like i want to say six months into its oh really into, you yeah, were OG, really, OG. really really yeah. oh dang but then like I, I i got on it uploaded like three four pictures of like a flower a coffee cup, <laughs> yeah, the you classic. know, the, the classic ones. Yeah, yeah. And then like some, some random other stuff and then deleted the app for like another six, seven months. And then went back on it. And I had the name on Instagram, New York city. That was like my first name on the app. You had New York, I had city, New York city on, on Instagram, yeah, on Instagram. And then I changed it to Toronto. And at that time I was living in Kitchener. Like I was going to university of Waterloo or whatever I was doing. It just, I didn't make sense. I was not associated to the city. Had you known I know. how much that handle probably maybe, is Maybe it made me work now. harder. It made me work harder though. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn Even it. the Tro <laughs> Toronto handle, New York City, like those would all be worth so, especially New York City. New York like, City, yeah. I, so I know the girl that owns New York City and she's made an entire empire out of that name. And I mean, good for her. Yeah. By no means I'm trying to take her name back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so that was early on. And then I just kept uploading photos. I didn't know. I didn't want to be a photographer. I had no intention of being in that atmosphere. What kind of photos were you posting once you were like... Like uh, a lot of architecture, architecture and like landscapes. That's what you studied, right? Was yeah. Architecture, well, right? I studied urban planning and urban design planning, yeah. and then I started my master's in architecture. But I've always had like a big interest in architecture and design. So like I was uploading a lot of pictures of my travels, architecture, and then... Uh, Instagram reached out to me and they were like, oh, we love your stuff. Can we put you Ooh, on Instagram the suggested reaching. user listing? That's everybody that I know in the early days that had a following That's how was from up. suggested. Yeah. yeah. Which is, it's interesting because now, are you on Vero yet? I am. Yeah. 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 Peter, so, Peter, like, yeah, he yeah. convinced me. So Vero is, is kind of at the same stage, yes. like a, a, like a nicer version of what Instagram was back then. But there is no algorithm. There is mm. no like really like way of them putting new people in front of your face, except for the like the featured or suggested oh, users. Okay. And I don't know if I don't know how Instagram did it back then. But did they just have a section that you could see it, or did they have? So like no, a the suggested was only if you just download the app. Oh, and they, they would, would suggest tell you, these yeah, ten like, people, people to follow. People to follow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So every time you got a new follower, you were like, I got excited, but then I'd go on their account. There would be like no picture, no yeah, bio, yeah, yeah, no yeah, photo. Yeah, yeah. So it was just like someone pre-starting their application. And mm, yeah, it was it was cool. But yeah, Vero is doing a, I guess, a different approach. But they are kind of in the same yeah. pathway right now. And I'm curious. I'm actually like kind of curious, like which. Like is which? What are the benefits and, and you know the both uh, apps? Yeah, of neg neg well of that instead of having an algorithm that pushes randoms into your feed all the time, yeah, and then having like only the people that you choose to follow, but you can here's a list of people that like you might find interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm curious. I think now it's better. like if you follow someone, you might genuinely be interested in their work, and you might have searched for that yeah. particular type of imagery. Versus like social Instagram now and like most typical social media where they're just throwing accounts at your face yeah. and hoping that you'll follow and engage with them. Well, even if you do follow some, like if I follow you, yeah. I don't see your stuff necessarily. Oh, like no. they I, still choose and they're right to get to see your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like now Instagram has like three options where you drop down and you can choose to see my friends, random people or more random people. It's like, I didn't <laughs> even know that. I'm so bad at Yeah. Yeah. So you got, that's where you got your first. That was the beginning of it. Yeah. And then how many did you, how many did you get? Like a hundred, 200,000 followers or something like that from that? The or? first time. So I was on it twice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the first time I was this on it. This is such it, a classic. I've I heard know. this story so many times from friends. <laughs> it's so crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so the first time I got on the just user list, I got like 40,000 followers. Okay. And at that time, like 40,000, I was probably like maybe the second largest account in Canada. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cause no one was using Instagram. Yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. relatively new platform. The second time I got on that, it was a lot more. It was like, like I got closer to like a hundred thousand followers from it. Damn. Yeah, yeah. And, and that one, that, that one was great because 
the app had a lot of users on it. Mm. And now you were not only on a suggested user list, but Instagram was following only people that were on a suggested user list. Ooh. So, and it would be like so 10, Instagram 12 followed. people. Yeah. And so, but back then, did they people, still follow you or did they no, unfollow? No, they unfollowed <laughs> everyone. <laughs> <laughs> they, only, they only follow like Beyonce now. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> but at the oh, time, the real celebs, not, not us fools. <laughs> we don't make the cut anymore. It's the not worst. Even close. And we're the ones that developed this ask for them. <laughs> yeah. uh, but the app now, like back then, if if you want to go find people, you would go to Instagram's page and follow the people Instagram was following. Mm, That's what it that was. was like it was the, a very popular thing to do now. Interesting. Yeah, now it's not that case. Yeah. Were you making money then from Instagram? What happened? Like, you have 140,000 ish? 150,000? I started making. That's when, yeah. you, like, did brands start yeah. reaching? Because, like, brands always take a little while to understand, like, oh, this yeah. is a thing we could use. And then, you know, and so they, they, they actually did, they started, uh, and did that become your, like, full time job then at that point? No, 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 no. I was, like, that was far from being a full time job. I was getting gig gigs here and there, like, you know, stores and, like, clothing uh retail shops in toronto were like hitting me up being like oh you're like we love your stuff can you we'll give you some us? free product kind give of thing free yeah, merch. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh and then like slowly started changing and then next thing you know you're getting emails from bigger brands and then instagram was also helping me um oh really yeah so instagram in the very beginning was i was getting emails i was on like a direct line with the team as they were developing the app so they were like we want to introduce this feature what do you think about it like we were able to actually like help them and Man, it's, it's so funny how now it's like, where are you? So. Yeah, well, creators, <laughs> I don't know, we don't care about them. <laughs> no. That's so interesting because like, I bet you the app in turn was way better when they had that like, dialogue with the creators that are on there. You know, how are they experiencing 100%. Instagram? And now Instagram, like trying to message Instagram, like that's a Good black line. box of nothing. But very interestingly now, Vero... Vero guys have been reaching out to me because I made oh. it like I'm because Peter made the video and then yeah. I made the video and then like oh you're like we got what do you guys think about Vero you know yeah. like and so they they reached out and so like now I'm able to give them input like here's what here's like the creator world right now here's here my, here are my thoughts yeah. take take what you want do what you want with these thoughts but at least they're having some dialogue, dialogue you know yeah. whereas I've never had a conversation with Instagram I've I've had uh, YouTube I've had like you, they give you like a like a what do they call it? like a partner rep or something yeah, like that? Yeah, but they're kind of super like nice a, people. You super nice people, but yeah. they're not like they're not people that are making any sort of decisions or anything like that. They're just like uh, you know, here's some things that you could do. Here's some things, and like it's handy if something goes real wrong. Then like, hey, I got hacked. Like, exactly. oh, okay, let me let me get you in touch with the right person. You know, like good for like they are. It's really nice to have it, but it's not the same kind of like. Wow, YouTube is yeah. really listening to me, you know? Yeah, they're not They're not definitely taking notes and be like, okay, <laughs> yeah. we got to tell the CEO. That's and nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <Yeah. laughs> Make a video about so it. So we have this new feature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that honestly, that was, I think, a very fundamental piece to their success. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. For Instagram, in the very beginning stages, they didn't really know what was going on either. They were kind of creating the the path for all these other applications. Mm. And so by taking the opinion of people actually using the interface, yeah. it allowed them to make a much more concrete yeah. version of the app. Yeah. And then they were, I think they were like during maybe like 2015, 2016 was the prime years of Instagram for me. Because that was when like it was a photography focused application and everyone was on it. Everyone was talking about cool things they were doing. Brands are starting to bring their Brands. money. Oh my God, it was amazing. Do you know how often I say how jealous I am that you guys got to experience the glory days of Instagram where you could literally go on a trip, <laughs> take 500 photos. Yeah, and I have to post one. Go home <laughs> and just post one photo a day, maybe two photos a day if you're, if you're feeling yeah. good, like... And that's it. Yeah, it's there was no now. stories. There was no other video content on there. It was just take some really cool photos, edit it, post it, make money from those. Yeah. Photos. Like, and it's not that. It's, I, I don't want to say it's not difficult because obviously there's a level of difficulty in the creative, of course. But it's definitely not like creating a full YouTube video. Yeah, there's a big difference. Very big difference. Uh, and like in terms of just like the overwhelming overwhelming aspect of having to do something like a video is yeah. is much greater than just taking, you know, 500 photos from a trip to Iceland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And having to post one. 
What is it now? So then you you kept doing things. Then you got a little bit of the Peter McKinnon effect. He boosted your numbers on Instagram. He helped quite, me a lot. Quite, yeah, they like With reignited YouTube. things again. Yeah. Um, what is what does Instagram feel like to you nowadays? You've gone through the full gamut. What yeah. what's your like overall feeling on Instagram nowadays? It's it's frustrating to be honest with you. Frustrating. Yeah, because I go on the application and I gotta get lost in trying to figure out what I should be doing. Mm. You know, like I'll open the app and all of a sudden I'm watching a cooking video and I'm like, why am I watching a cooking video? <laughs> yeah. And the next thing I'll open the app and it'll be like a photo series and then just like it has no relevance to what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, so the app. It's it's awesome because it has all these options for so many different types of users. Mm. But for the initial kind of customer that they were trying to get and gravitate towards, the, it's the, it's kind of a hit hit and miss uh, uh, situation right now. Yeah. But at the same time, I understand we're evolving. Social media is evolving. Creativity is on a different level. Like I find that like every time I open up these apps now, I'm like, whoa. People are so damn talented out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's crazy because I'm like, I thought, I thought I was doing a good yeah. job, but then I'm like watching some of these kids' videos and like looking at their images and I'm like, they're, it's it's another level of talent. Yeah. It's because they have videos of other people showing them step by step oh, yeah, how yeah, to yeah. do things. Yeah. And then once you learn the- well, Plus the tools that we have now yeah. versus like Before. your iPhone, you can just portrait mode, <laughs> bam, done. <laughs> like, Seriously. That, that's yeah. pretty close or better than what we had, you know, five Back years then, ago. Yeah, you know? for sure. Uh, yeah, we don't have to haul the 1DX. Yeah. <laughs> Worst decision I ever made in my life. Best decision. <laughs> with, it was fun. With a gorilla pod. It was fun. <laughs> it was awesome. I, I had like carbon tunnel in my shoulder <laughs> for like five five years. What do you mean? <laughs> it is quite absurd that we used to vlog and travel around with what like they're like eight thousand dollars or cameras, something back yeah. there, like expensive cameras. And we'd always say, Oh, if someone tried to rob us, we just hit them with this <laughs> yeah, camera. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's definitely not gonna do much. <laughs> um yeah, I never really thought about how like the adventure you I would say you were like kind of you're an adventure photographer, but also more like cityscape type thing. Yeah. But the adventure photographer has kind of gone extinct in a way. It is. Yeah. Now right? it's, they have to jump off of planes. Yeah. And like, you have to make reels or something like that. <laughs> do <right>? crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, like now we've all seen the nice spots from Iceland. We've yeah. seen the nice spots from Faroe Islands and, uh, you know, been, Japan, wherever, wherever. Like, we've seen them all. And so back when you guys were doing Instagram, like, I remember my friends in Finland doing it. I'm like, what are these places? What are these photos? Yeah. These are insane. I've never seen anything like this. And it was like a new style of photography where, like, landscape photography never spoke to me. Like, I thought, and, and I don't enjoy taking landscape. Mm -hmm. But you add in a person. It makes and a it, huge and difference. Yeah, right away, I'm like, I'm, I'm intrigued. Because you see the magnitude of the space. Exactly. Sure. You like, it's yeah. like a person experiencing that, and so like that. And I'd never seen that kind of photography where it's like insane landscapes, and then there's my friend there. Yeah, he's in there, Just in the corner. He's experiencing that place. <laughs> it's a real place, you know. It makes you feel like you could experience it yourself. And yeah, I think that's what really projected that industry. Yeah, that specific creativity. Totally. For sure, yeah, and that I think that like. I, I want it'd be interesting to look at numbers for like tourism even oh, like like massive. in Iceland for example purely because of Instagram 100% Iceland is one of the most popular adventure destinations now because of Instagram because of Inst they were really smart they brought all the biggest Instagrammers yeah. there and everybody was like oh look at that spot look at that spot I yeah. want to go to that spot yeah. and everybody wants that same Skoka Foss uh, yeah. whatever like picture and whatever the same airplane down <laughs> like, you know? it's, 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 it's true but they they really capitalized on it yeah and it was worth it oh them. yeah yeah, but now they had COVID. No, COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that screwed up everybody. COVID, but it's everyone. still like it's still one of like you know like if, if you're not going on a beach vacation, yeah, and someone's like, oh, I'm gonna go on our honeymoon. It's like they go to Iceland. That's like so I send common. people to Iceland on a weekly yeah, basis. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. they're like, where? You, what's your best place you've yeah. ever been to? I'm like, Iceland. I go to Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to Iceland. <laughs> Mine's Norway, but yeah, same thing basically. <laughs> Yeah, I, I never. That's interesting how the event, like even the man. There was like, I, I forget their names already. There's a lot of like really big adventure photographers that I haven't seen any content from them mm. in like so long. Yeah, I think uh, and apps nowadays they don't, especially Instagram. It's not 
pushing that portfolio anymore. It's pushing now fashion, like very contemporary type of artists mm. um, and also celebrities. Because mm. yeah. the, the one thing that happened on Instagram is specifically is that celebrities literally took over. Mm. And then it became an app for who's the most popular versus who's coming, who's up and coming and who's right. like showing some really interesting things. Yeah. Because you could have a video now that could go viral, but it doesn't mean that you're famous. Yeah. And I see on TikTok, all, all these people are so funny because the humor on TikTok is, is, is to me the most enjoyable aspect of it. But like certain people will make a video that goes viral and then they'll do another video being like, all right, I'm packing my bags, LA, I'm waiting. <laughs> you know, it's like, Here I come. It's like I, I wish it. it used to be like, that yeah. it used to be where if you made something that go viral you were getting hundreds of thousands of followers from it but now it's yeah. like you get 10 from like a 5 million view video that's interesting because um so before like you said it was like up and coming pe people that you did, had never heard of like, yeah. who is this person he's, wow he's so talented <laughs> he's doing this thing is he there wow and now it's like oh yeah it's the the you know it's the Biebers and whoever yeah. like you see on there and it's kind of like the equivalent of like, I don't know if this happens as much anymore. Or maybe this is when you're a teenager, like you find a band that's like mm. kind of obscure and you're like, this is my band. And this you like make band. it my, your, you know, your thing. It's kind of the equivalent of that. You find like a photographer. This is my favorite <laughs> photographer. Yeah. This it's like when my, the weekend, when the weekend first yeah. like started making music, he was known as Abel yeah, yeah, in yeah. Toronto and he was killing it and it yeah. was so undercover. Like no mm. one knew him. It was yeah. underground music. Yeah, yeah. And then now it's just You're like. You're proud to be a fan. And then now it's like. Every uh, single mainstream. person on the planet is a fan. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that's. Yeah. But it's interesting that I never really thought about that. Like that those photographers were like, oh, I'm a, I'm an Alex Stroll fan. You know? Yeah. Like he's my favorite, you know. And now I, I don't. I don't think that that's maybe that happens with TikTokers or YouTubers nowadays. I don't know, but I think now there's like so many different genres of things you can be a big that's fan true. of. Yeah, which is scary. Yeah, it's very I mean scary. it's it's really nice that like you can literally be any. You can be in the middle of the woods. You can be like a food like person. Like the guys that cook in the woods. Yeah, yeah, food person. Yeah, like, <laughs> anything. They're making millions. They're writing cookbooks <laughs> <laughs> about cooking in the woods. Yeah. That stuff is hilarious. I do like it a lot. Like that's I think the best part about all this social media is everything is that nobody's like us mm -hmm. can build brands and do things that wouldn't be possible yeah. otherwise, right? Absolutely. Like we are literally like nobody's like, okay, we we got some skill in, in what we do, but like there's a hundred other there's people that are so thousands many. that are way better than us at <laughs> filmmaking and photography, right? <laughs> <laughs> we just kind of got into the platforms the right time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it definitely thinks. So. Obviously, I mean, like, yeah, for me, like, it was definitely one of those. I because it, it'd be different if I had intentions of being in this industry, but literally, I just went into it blindly and then came out on the other side, being like, "Whoa, I just did all that in this yeah. cool." Like that is a super rewarding a, a aspect of it for sure for me. I think that's like a common theme, though. Most people that are very successful on uh, social media, whatever, they didn't come into it thinking, I'm going to be rich and famous. I'm going to start this now. They're like, yeah. I was into this thing and I just really liked it. And I just kept doing it because I really liked it. And like, I can't believe this all happened. And the people that are like, I'm going to become a TikToker and become rich and famous. They never last. No, they, they never last. last. It's, it's hard because then you're like, I don't know, to tell yourself something like that is just... Yeah. <laughs> concerning yeah but there's definitely <laughs> but all a lot of therapists people like that. nowadays tell I mean, you to like say out loud what you <laughs> yeah. want to come through and i'm like i want 10 million dollars well, I, I don't think i don't think people say it as like as outright or blunt as that like i would yeah. be rich and famous but they say like you know like i'm gonna become an influencer but it's like in the back like i'm gonna become you know known and i'm gonna make money, money just and hanging out doing nothing like and true, it, that's true. not at all no. what, what it is <laughs> so I, a question for you because obviously i i was on the platforms way way before how has it been for you? Because you came into the YouTube aspect of it mm. and that's a completely different beast. Yeah. Yeah. So like I would have no followers on Instagram if I didn't have a YouTube following, right? Mm. My YouTube following like translate. Like I, when I got on Instagram, there was no uh, like suggested user like you, you were, but there was also no algorithm to like, if you make these, you'll just get discovered. Mm. And that, that was when I started Instagram, I was like, well, Instagram is a pretty crappy platform because you can't get discovered. Like if you you're can't. a new person, yeah. the only way was to, 
to have like be a Kardashian and then bring your audience then, yeah, there or get them to shout you out. Yeah. <laughs> or then, yeah. Or yeah. That shouting out or then like me, like having a small YouTube audience and then like that translating over like, Hey, follow me on Instagram. You know, I used to do that a lot. Yeah. Um, and I, uh, I don't know. Instagram is like a, it's like a neutral for me. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Like, yeah. I, I forget about it. I post think, like once every every month or yeah, something stupid. Like month. I, yeah, that, once yeah, every that's, year. Yeah, that's generous. <laughs> I always laugh with Peter. He's got like a perfect grid and everything. I'm like, oh, I, I haven't posted for three months. <laughs> <laughs> and that shows like he has proportionally, like I have, I have a million subscribers. Peter has 5 million subscribers. But on Instagram, I think I have like 400,000 followers and he has like millions so it you know, makes sense like, in terms of numbers. yeah because he's putting way more effort in, and he's also just an incredible photographer i'm i, I would say i'm like a, a mediocre photographer i, I no, like you're it good, you're good. I, i'm fine but like you know i i kind of it's always the same it's if you look at my account it's like center framed <laughs> there's a person there person. And, per, and a beautiful <laughs> landscape center framed hey, person the, beautiful landscape the, the presets look good though <laughs> yeah, yeah <thank laughs> the you, colors you. look great <laughs> that's one of those have you ever noticed that's one of those things where I, you look at other people's stuff like, man, their colors are so good. Their co- why do my colors suck? <laughs> it's always the same thing, or at least for me. I'm always like, man, why do my colors suck? Alan's are so good. What is he doing? Look at Victor's over there. Like, his colors are so What the heck? Everyone's is different. <laughs> yeah. That is, I think, that's the cool thing about Instagram versus YouTube is that you can discover a lot more quicker, like in quicker time span mm, than yeah, yeah, YouTube yeah. where it's like you have to watch someone's video. <laughs> yeah. But then the flip side too is on YouTube, you get attached to people much yeah. more. Like if I watch your YouTube videos, I actually become a real fan Damn, of yes. Alan Palander. Do you say Palander or Palander? Palander. 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 Which one is it? So Which one do you say? In Iraq, they would say Palander. Palander? Yeah, Palander. I always say Palander. And but then I'm you like, can say Palander also. Okay. A lot of people here say Palander, which is weird. Palander is like a... It sounds yeah. like... Like, I don't know. It sounds like a brand. Right? Yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Palander. It's a great name. By yeah, the it, way. Is. it is. It works well. And for branding wise, it works really well. I literally, when I started, I didn't call myself Maria Poya because I thought my last name was so like weird and like, But it's so dumb. easy to say. But, but it's like, I don't know. It's such a weird name. That I was like, I can't, I can't be. Do people ever think you're Latin because of the J at the end? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, I mean, look at me. I don't look, I don't look Latin. <laughs> Not one <laughs> thing. <laughs> a white boy with their blue eyes. <laughs> oh my god, the funniest. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, I get all, all sorts of things, but yeah, I, I was like embarrassed. Not embarrassed, but I was a little bit like, oh, I was like, nobody's gonna be able to like search my name. Yeah, or you went like by that. a Maddie H. I remember. Well, even, oh, travel feels first. Travel feels, yeah. yeah. And even now, a lot of people think my first name is like Maddie H. Oh, but no. I just because I didn't want to be Maddie Hapoya on Hapoya. Instagram because it's so long. <laughs> so I just put Maddie H. Hey, at least you got Maddie H on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody on the wants a Maddie H. <laughs> it's like the least. They're like searching you on, it, on YouTube. They're like, what is this Hapoya? Uh, the, the only one other person that would want that is a serial killer a that serial? died like <laughs> 50 years ago. Finland. Oh I God. literally daily get people sending me like, uh, so I was searching your name on Google and uh, did you know and did, the serial oh killer no. comes up? It's, Wait, there's a serial killer? So the the, <laughs> the the most notorious serial killer in Finland, in Finland. is Matti Hapoja. Yeah. But he was like, like in, I don't know, like the 1800s. Like How many people did he kill? I, don't, I actually don't know much about him. <laughs> Other than the fact that at, like it changes. So like, Sometimes you would look up my name, it would be my picture, and then underneath it says Finnish serial killer. <laughs> yeah, this is my exit. <laughs> this is my cute exit. <laughs> Can wow. you imagine? Like, it's, it's absurd, but like, it's because nobody, I don't have a Wikipedia page. Yeah. And I don't even know how that works. I don't think you can make your own Wikipedia you can, page. You can apply for one. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so his, you know, like his data comes in but then my pictures are more like on the internet so like my pictures come up but his like oh wikipedia stuff comes up so it mixes the but two. he's not related to you no 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 no, no, no. no relation <laughs> he's not your all. uncle no <laughs> relation <laughs> no, no no relation I'm Actually, I've, never, I've never fully looked at i wonder i mean great the great name. uncle <laughs> you never know i mean was it like a tribe back then like yeah, no <laughs> now i'm scaring myself yeah uh so i have to contend with that that's, that's like scary. one of my missions in life is to bury 
<laughs> the well, someone told me I looked like one of the serial killers, uh, <laughs> the the famous one from the U.S. that they made a Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy, yeah. And okay. I was like, really? Hey, no. Really? I don't know. If that's <laughs> I put on glasses. I'm like, <gasps> oh, <no. laughs> it's scary. <laughs> oh, uh, How did we get on the topic of serial yeah, killers? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instagram to serial killers. To serial killers. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, overall, how do you feel about Instagram? Well, sorry, let me finish. Instagram for me became a thing where like I was doing it because I thought I should like it might as well like yeah. if I have this YouTube following that's going I'm, I Makes should sense. like and I did I've always enjoyed stories a lot mm. I, just, I like stories because I actually get to see some of my friends still th- from them which is uh, like all the time morphing but like this is the one area of social media I don't I don't use Facebook anymore I haven't used it for years so stories are like the one area you can connect where I actually do see my just like normal non-creator friends like you know like the people that I grew up with yeah. all that which is like oh do you follow them on your Instagram yeah yeah a lot of them yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> my friends are so angry right now <laughs> no I had to make a personal account because it's just yeah you know uh, when know you're meeting too many I, people I already don't do my one yeah, account so I'm not gonna do much. a second yeah. account I mean yeah when you're using the platform as much as I do I feel like I just also, I don't want to I don't want to open the app and see like my my friend's child just screaming like I, I, I just don't want to open the app and see that ever <laughs> <laughs> you know that's just the problem also I just realized I don't follow your private account so I must not be your friend so no, it's okay. <laughs> no I'm just it's kidding okay. no because you're followed on the other account yeah that's yeah, why. yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> But and I've actually never really treated uh, Instagram as like a business thing much. Like mm. I don't. I've only done less than a handful of brand deals purely on Instagram. Oh, it's always like yeah. a throw on, like you know, like YouTube video and a social post. And yeah. Like, okay. Sure. I'll, I'll do a I'll story do or whatever post. Yeah. For me, it's the opposite. I I feel like I still make most of my revenue off of Instagram. So Instagram is your number one revenue source. On social media, yes. Yeah, social media-wise, yeah, for sure. In total, what's your number one revenue source? Uh, It could be commercial and just content creation for brands, like where I'm not posting anything. It's not going on Mm -hmm. any social platform. It's just me creating video content, whether it be commercial Mm -hmm. or images for brands. Yeah, That's probably the number one. And then Instagram. Okay. And then Twitter. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, do <laughs> Twitter is useless. Someone makes money from Twitter? Oh, my God. Twitter. That's the one app I've always been so tempted to get rid of. Really? Yeah. That's the first one on my on my hit list. Really? If I got to get rid of an app. For me, it would be TikTok. But Twitter, for me, I actually really enjoy it because there's no pressure. You can just like post like, like I just the other day, I'm like, Oh, looks like vlogging is coming back. Is this just me wishful thing? Like, you know, just like just a whatever random comes thought. to your mind. Oh, yeah, okay. it's like, and I'm like, yeah, is anybody else like feeling this or is it just me kind of thing? And like, I'm treating it as like kind of like a research tool. I'm following a lot of people See in business and investing and whatever creators. Mm. Like, so you're so benefiting seen, from it. Yeah. I, I don't I, benefit from it at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like you don't use it. Probably. I don't probably use it. Probably. Well, I do. I look at the news. Like if something happens yeah, yeah. in news, I go like right away to the explore yeah. section. Yeah. So like I follow enough people now that I feel like I get news also through oh, the people okay. that I follow. Like they'll post stuff or like, you know, throw stuff like, oh, this happened. What does this mean? Whatever. Um, yeah, I think Twitter is like, Twitter is actually on, on like, I say YouTube. No way. Almost, Watch what you say. <laughs> probably Twitter is second. No just way. Just because I take zero, like, I mean, business wise. You don't it's feel like, stressed. I don't, yeah, I take no pressure hmm. over it. I don't like, I think it's like purely just like, and I don't, I don't doom scroll uh, Twitter. I don't feel like True. I'm like, yeah. I, like I, I look through it and like the at least what I'm following, I'm like, oh, like interesting people that like are saying interesting things. I'm learning kind of thing, yeah, reading a little close. Twitter for that. Yeah, and then I close. I don't feel that like, like TikTok is like, uh, yeah, you're it's trapped. It's like you know, like dopamine, like oh that's funny oh that's what, like you know like oh that's stupid TikTok's but like, a trap next, yeah exactly it's a trap but then after I'm like what the heck did I, I just, it's like, like in the matrix you have the red and the blue pill <laughs> yeah. and then you have TikTok in the yeah. middle and it's like <laughs> which one do you want <laughs> Do you do short form videos or anything like that? I've, I've been trying to, but the problem is I'm always trying to find ways to do things differently. Like it's hard because I study mm, I study what people are doing on Instagram Reels and I yeah. study what they're doing on TikTok and I'm always like, okay, where can I fit in? Yeah. And still have my aesthetic and mm. my brand. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. my brand's all this whole mysterious person. Yeah. yeah and it's yeah. hard to do that on an app where you're just showing your face. Well, I, th- I also you know? think most people on TikTok and these like Reels and stuff aren't even thinking about 
the brand value. None. They're just thinking about how do I get views and followers, yes. which is very different from having brand value. Yeah. And you, I, I've probably, I'm Actually, probably like a, a broken record point. at this point, but it's like, it's like that 15 minutes of fame thing has like escalated to TikTok, which all the brands jump on, but then that 15 minutes is a little bit longer now. Yeah. But a few years from now, you're like, oh, that guy's still doing yeah. that same thing. Oh, I've totally forgot about them, you know, but I don't, I don't remember their name. Don't know anything about them. No connection to them. Nothing. But you just know it as that guy or that girl who used to do that thing. I met a, a so I was at the flu, flu tag, <laughs> <laughs> the Red Bull flu tag. Shout out to Red Bull. <laughs> Shout out Red Bull. Sorry, I couldn't make it. My kids were sick. I would have been there. It was a funny man. But I met a Not king, sponsored. A guy, Red Bull, you should sponsor this podcast. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, why are drinking Red, Red Bull Bulls right now if, if yeah. you're listening to this? Red Bull Canada, <laughs> hurry up. Um, but yeah, I met a guy who I seen many of his tiktok videos but i could not remember his name he's a comedian he's a okay. super funny guy i just couldn't remember his name and i'm like yeah. that's not good yeah like i've watched like a, like yeah. a substantial amount of your content and yeah. i can't remember your name and yeah. i think that's that goes to back to what you're saying it's yeah. just the 15 minutes of fame aspect of it is just yeah it's embedded so much into it that people are not creating content like you said to create brand they're creating content just for the sake of going viral. Yeah, yeah. And I can't wrap that around my brain. Like, yeah. so I, I sit there and I'm like, okay, I want to make a video today. And I'm like, I want it to be moody and I want emotions and yeah. I want this. Tell a story and, or yeah. whatever. And then I share it and I'm like, oh, no one <laughs> no one gives a <laughs> effing flying yeah. Red Bull. You know, like <laughs> they don't, they don't care. Yeah. So it's, it's like everybody's trying to go for a Charlie bit my finger video. Yeah. Yeah, and then make money off of it 10 years later. Yeah, try. <laughs> Be on the Ellen DeGeneres but, show. <laughs> but like back, uh, Charlie bit my finger. Like, you know, like nobody's making that for the sake of like, I'm going to get views from yeah, this. They're like, oh, true. this happened and I posted it. And like, who knows where those people that were in that video, like they're not influencers. They're not creators. They're not, they didn't, they're probably just living normal lives mm, now, you know? And I feel like a lot of TikTokers, because they're just going for viral content instead of not not everybody, but most of them are just building, you know, content, content, content without any brand value will just disappear. And like, you know, they might I have millions the of followers. Set, the first set of them did really well, like the Addison Rays. Those ones are now in like, I would say yeah. celebrity level yeah. Um, because they're getting invited to fashion week yeah. shows. They're getting invited to but massive that's the thing, events. We, like, the people that follow those got more than just their TikToks. And then yeah. like, like, uh, or the, the D'Amelios had like their TV shows yeah. and everything. And so then they, people got to know them more. And so they're, bril they're, they're definitely building, building brand, brand value. Yes, right. 100%. And they could milk that for probably the rest of their, their lives. But there's a lot so of people are on TikTok 16 years old. So they have a long time to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like I feel half bad. Like that's our, that's a hard road to go down. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't think a lot of people understand these things. They just like, oh, people are watching, and then they just keep doing this, yeah. like the, the the trends or whatever. And then yeah, like know, I just where does it lead? I can't wrap my brain around doing something that a million other people have done. Yeah, <laughs> but I think there should be a, like a no fucks given moment in my life where I just need yeah. to just do just do all the dances, all the dances, all of the dances, and <laughs> every single thing that is on TikTok, and just to see if it works. You know. All right. Um, we're going to cut this podcast here. <laughs> we're going to go do some dances. Some, now. some TikTok dances coming we'll see up. see you on TikTok. <laughs> Thanks, man, for coming on the podcast. Appreciate it. TikTok, here we come. Uh, I almost did one video, actually. <laughs> one. I, oh, my God. One I don't want to say it. Forget it. <laughs> Forget I said anything loud. <laughs> All right. We got to have you back on here, yeah. Alan, at some point. Now we got to do a TikTok. <laughs> yeah. PRB. <laughs>